boutique and beautiful. He just bought me that. What do you do with the Did you say that's a fun fact? Well, mm. not, well you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold your breath, guys. Hold your breath. Oh, oh, let's turn this around. Where are we, Justine? Hand away. Yeah. We are going to be pulling into a caravan park, Morisu, yeah. which is at a vineyard. Oh, we're 500 meters from turn off. Just trying to get all my controls sorted. Here we go. Let's turn this around. Welcome to the Padthaway Caravan Park. Boutique and beautiful. B E A beautiful. <laughs> Let's hope it's as good as you're um, talking it up then. So, we have arrived at Padthaway. It's a caravan park um, which is located in its own vineyard. So, we've got green glass. Blue skies and plenty of wine. Let me take you for a tour. Follow me. Oh, hello. Take you to my friend Gus. What's his name? Flat Eric. Flat Eric. Flat there you Eric. go, mate. Give us a cuddle. Pleased to meet you, mate. Just bite me then. He's a, he's a bit of a knock, is he? Oh, no, he's all right now. He's all right. He's all right. It's because he's just. G'day, mate. There you go. Let me shake your hand. G'day, mate. There you go. He doesn't really know you. <laughs> he doesn't really Maybe that's because he doesn't know me very well yet. No, you might have caught his tie though. Oh, you... Do you want to drive a Y62? <laughs> no. Run away. Get out of your Mitsubishi. <laughs> Mitsubishi's only here. <laughs> you... Over here. Over here. Look how good this is. Oh, check out how they charge Tesla cars. Come here, check this out. Wine barrel, Tesla charging. Wine barrel, Tesla charging. <sighs> Follow me. I know a shortcut. That's my What's going on here then? No. <laughs> oh. It's just for children. It's got oh. teddy, telly in it, teddy in it. Don't know. <laughs> Beyond where we're camped, they have their own little animal enclosure. I'm hoping, are you friendly? Are you friendly? You're not gonna eat me, are you? No, you're not, are you? You wanna scratch. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh just did you him. just... Did you just kick? Oh, that was evil. Yeah, they, they actually um, can be quite nasty. Yeah, look who's here. Is Flat it? Eric. Where are the <laughs> <laughs> <Is>, um... <laughs> Johnny, no! <laughs> what? It doesn't work, Flat Eric. We wanted to see it. Is that, is that wild or crazy? How many caravan parks do you have that have its own wildlife sanctuary? Not many, I reckon there's none. <laughs> and and wineries on the doorstep. Mm, so there's five chucks, Look, there, five winery. ducks, one at Emu is called Elmer. What's down there? The winery, can you see? Oh yeah. And there's a kangaroo. We don't know the name of the kangaroo. Yeah, but the kangaroo could be just, just wild. As in no, you no, think it's it jumped the, over? Oh, it's on the pamphlet. Yeah. It's on the pamphlet. <laughs> I don't think it's jumped over this. What do you reckon? Just for a heads up, this place also has cabins, and that's a big one. Games room. I'm going to go in the games room in a moment. It's, it's actually. I'm amazed what this got. Oh, it's got a mini golf apparently as well. Like a just a pitch and put. Not even pitch and put. Mini golf. The kids game thing. Again, Flat Eric wants to meet some goats. Yep. 
There's food. There's food. We <laughs> you know why it'll eat that. They're scared. The goats now. Look, the go goats gonna headbutt him. Did they do that? Don't bite oh, me it's though. Got a stop it. Stop. Hey. You stop behave. It. No. I'll get some food for you. Don't even think about it. <laughs> and why are you shaking? Scared. It is. It's very young. We need to bring some possibly. Did you know, fun oh, fact, if you hit a kangaroo, you should always check, check. and see if it has a yeah. 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 And what do you do if it Did does? you say that's a fun it's fact? Well, not a, well, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> you should do that. When you run over a kangaroo. <laughs> no, no, it's actually check a check medical and fact. Yeah. Yeah. Medical, medical fact. Then you call wildlife. No. Yeah. tickets for the Narakut Caves for tomorrow. Yay. Are we in or not in yet? Um, they're online. Oh, okay. So it says 9.30.15 available, so I'm just going to book it. We are in. All right, Flat Eric's going back in a car. It's like um, Tilly likes the car. Good. So, morning peeps, we are at Narakut. Narakut Caves, which are... The, the known of caves, I'm sure they said 24. I think the single digit figure that we can actually go into. And we're on a tour. Oh, and it's also in a national park, which is cool because as you know, we're trying to do as many national parks as we can each year. Um, and yes, Narakort Caves National Park. First thing you see when you come out of the car park is this pretty looking beef. I would not like to come across that. It's Australia's largest marsupial that roamed the planet. And if that's life size, it's a big beast. Where is it? It's a shame we weren't allowed to video in there, but that was pretty impressive. That was um, really, really cool. That says ticketed, Justine. Oh, it says you can go in for. It said self guided. She said to me you can go in there. Well, maybe you've still got to pay. Tickets available at the Wunambi Visitor Centre. Oh. She said, yeah, you can just go down there. She didn't say, oh, here, here's the money. She just said, yeah, you can just go down there. Well, it says ticketed, so maybe they need to know who's in. I mean, it's only a pool gate. We could just go in. Okay, so we went into the Alexandra cave. That was really good. Couldn't do any video in. But whilst we're here, they have a little walk that wanders around some of the other caves, see the top of the caves, with lots of useful information system. Cool little things at the back like that. I've got some photographs again. And we have lots of information boards telling you about the ecosystem of the biosystem, what was it, biological ecosystem, and how rocks and the like form these caves. We are pulled into a cracking little vineyard called Farmer's Leap. First question was, do you give us permission to fly the drones? Which they said, yes, we could, which is pretty good of them. Um, already got the wine, already got the drinks, that food. Here we go, show you inside. Oh, we've we even got a doorman. <laughs> I'm thinking Matt was warning us that the food was ready. Thanks, bear boy, doorman. 
and look where we are. Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Are you not ready? <laughs> Justine's posing for a photograph, yeah. but uh, Farmer's Leap. She looks beautiful, look at her. How do, make, how do I make this? left a vineyard farmer's leap. We've come back to the Pathway Caravan Park. It's not a caravan park, it's a believe vineyard with um, a couple of spots for caravans. It's specky as, it's so cool. Uh, we're now walking down to the vineyard, which is just down the bottom, so I'll flip this around. I'm hoping you can make that out. The laneway, the road's just down to the bottom there. The actual vineyard is, is here. It's a 10 minute walk and that's where we're going. But where have we just been? We have just been to Pathway yes. Estate. Which is just down the road from the actual caravan we're parked at. Yeah. And caravan park that we're at. Not caravan, the caravan that we're park parked park. at. Small little caravan park that we're parked at. Boutique, it boutique. says. Boutique. And it, it is, is boutique. Gorgeous. But this I mean, I, I, I videoed it walking down, so we'll see what it's like after a few wines when we're walking back. <laughs> and the sun's behind us, but it's bloody fantastic. Yeah. Just to flip you around on this and just have a look at where we are. It's pretty specky. Nice. Anyway, it is well worth walking down, spending a couple of hours drinking some good wine. $15 for a paddle of five different wines yeah. and if you buy a bottle you don't pay for your paddle so how cool is that and your paddle would equate to a full bottle of, uh, a, full full glass. <laughs> a full glass of yeah. wine but maybe it should be a secret should be a secret yeah and you can walk so it's good <laughs> you can definitely walk because it's just there all righty pad for pad for way estate, estate well worth a visit. Pulled up at the side of the road because we saw something called Father Woods Park. This dead set is just on the side of the main road. So apparently it's been set up in recognition of work done by Father Woods, who was a parish priest. And he had during his 10 happy years. <laughs> See, right on the side of the road. Yeah. Apparently he was, um, a devoted priest and an eminent scientist and he came here to someone's home and just meditated so money was um, put to create this park to as a memory to him. Okay let's have a look at the sculptures. It's cool just seeing these things along the side of the road. Don't know when it's going to make the video. It's bad because the sun's behind it so you don't get the detail. Oh, I like this one, it's creepy. It's got a bit of a deterioration in it. And that deterioration makes it look a little bit more sinister. Shouldn't be sinister. And this is our man. And it's Father Woods. Good morning, peeps. And we're off to, we've crossed the border again. Well, actually, they don't know we've crossed the border in the first instance. Oh, well, we've not crossed the border, now we're crossing back the border, and then later on we're going to be crossing the border again. So, the same border. Yeah, <laughs> as you can tell by our attire, we are now in South Australia. We are now in Victoria at a campsite right on the water at Nelson. Far out, is it cold? Far out, Brussels sprout, it is freezing. It was so cold. We spent the night in the car last night <laughs> with the heating on. Playing Goon up chocolate and Johnny was cheating. And then I went out and had a shower and it was like freezing! Oh god! <laughs> it's not freezing if we're used to it, but we're not used to it for the last couple of weeks. We've had nice warm weather. Anyway, we're off back into SA because we're right, literally right on the border. We're 
crossing over into my safe because we're going to do a hike today. We are going to Mount Shank, is it? Yeah. Mount Shank. And what are you? Well, I'm not sure it can be classed as a hike. It's just a lot of steps up, over a thousand steps up, and then you walk the rim. All right, the so hike's are tomorrow. It's supposed to be good views from up there, 360 views of the area. So we're going to go up there, and then do hopefully a couple of sinkholes and the Blue Lake and Little Blue Lake and just have a kind of tour and explore around. Get a bit of exercise in our legs yeah, again. So been a bit, been a bit lazy. Camping. We've been walking everywhere. Shops and vineyards. Caves. We've not actually put any good walks in the place. So that's what we plan to do. That's what we expect to do everywhere. Anyway, we're back on track with it. Started today, and then we've got some big walks tomorrow. Yep, so that'll be good. So, Mount Gambia today, and yeah. Yep, cool. Alright, see you at the uh, rim, roll, rim walk. Let's bounce. Car park. So, Crater Rim is one kilometre and 30 minutes away. Crater Rim walk by the car park to Crater Rim is 2.4k, there you go, one hour it says, one way. It's a steep sex, it's one hour. Half of the other places we've been to have been like saying, no, oh, these things are going to take you ages. And when you actually get there, they take you a lot less time. They're very conservative with some of their numbers, let me tell you. Justine's just reliably informed me there are over 1,000 of these little steps. Onward and upward. They're the perfect gate for my stride. You just march up here. We're, we're at the top. Okay, that view looks pretty damn good. Just wait to see what we get when you get to the top of this place. This is specky. That's my word, I reckon. Look at this place. Yowza! Oh wow, so we're going to do a circuit walk all the way around now. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's worth the climb, isn't it? And it wasn't as bad. No, yeah, that climb was nothing. I thought it was going to be a So read that, read that first paragraph. Read all that for me, please, Justine. Bird's Second. eye view. This Bird. spectacular view provides a useful glimpse of the portion of the newer volcanic province that falls within South Australia. So, in so if you look out there, this, yeah, this well, yeah. in particular, this spectacular view. Yeah. Hold, hold your breath, guys. Hold your breath. You could probably have seen it at some point. <laughs> All right, just for reference, so that you know what type of terrain you're walking across, that's predominantly it when you're up at the top there, where Justine is. But so that you know, you are going to be coming across sections like this. We have to step through and there's narrow sections. So look. All right, it's down, down, deeper and down, 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 down deeper and down. Bit of status quo. I grew up loving status quo, by the way. Oh, such a great band. Oh, we've even got albums of theirs, which I put on occasionally when we're at home. Next stop in SA is the Little Blue Lake. However, it has not been blue for many years. It remains this greeny colour. What you see right now, Justine's going in for a jump. Going in. 12 degrees. What, you've put your toe in already, have you? Yeah. It's actually beautiful down here. It's so mm. quiet and still. That is pretty good. Hey, this is at points 45 metres deep. And there's an undercut ledge for scuba divers here which goes underneath the road which is just over there so you go down 
and I think it's 40 meters deep and then goes across. So next stop on our tour around SA, it's Mount Gambia. SA, Mount Gambia. Well, we are in SA, but yeah, we're not true. touring not SA true. right now. Well, we are. We are. Yeah. Should we start there again? Yeah. <laughs> Of our tour of the Mount Gambia area well, yeah. within we did SA. Say we have stopped <laughs> at, this is just called the Blue Lake. Yeah. So we've had a little blue lake, which is not blue and won't be blue for many and many eons because it doesn't go blue anymore. But this is blue. where we are now. This is definitely blue. It's a bloody big lake, as you can see. I did have the facts. Oh, facts. facts. Turn this way because they can look at the, they can look at it whilst you're going to relay some facts. While you're saluting your facts. Yeah. So we have to salute. 80 meters depth on average. Camera's there, Justine. I know, but I can't see what I'm writing at the same time. Mm -hmm. 204 meters at its deepest. 204 meters deep. Five kilometers around in the circumference. Oh, give a pack run. And 36,000 megaliters. Wow. Of water. And it actually numbers. is used for domestic water. Yeah. It is meant to be that good quality water. And it's completely different if I put my glasses on. Mm. So when we were in Mount Gambia, tourist information centre, we went and popped in there. Anzac Day, we thought it was shut, but it was open. So we asked dude behind the counter, what do you do when you're in Mount Gambia for a day? And he reeled off all these things and went, done that, done that, been there, done that, bought a t-shirt. Anyway, he suggested... On the way back. On the way back to camp, to visit a place called Hell's Hole. So that's where we are right now. So we've pulled up in the forestry area. Get a drone up, I don't think it says no drones. We're in a forestry area. And yeah, it's... Uh, just a 700 meter loop walk to Hell's Hole. So let's see what this offers. Apparently it's got inky black water. Hey, it was a super, super short walk uh, to Hell's Hole. It's that bad, you're caged in. <laughs> what do you reckon they do, Justin? Just I've sailed down into the ladder. I can't see anything. There's divers, but do they, are they? They do not, as in well, jumping. It says divers, please ensure gates are closed at all times. Maybe. Maybe it's, let's go through the gate. But how would you get, uh, make sure it's fastened on. He yeah, fell off the other on. day. Goodness me. Oh, that is interesting. That warrants the drone, doesn't it? Mm, no, it looks a bit inky. Yeah, and we'll put it over and fly it out straight up. And then we're locked in. Oh my god, it feels scary. It's like creepy being locked behind a gate like that. Alright, there you go, hell so. Let's look at it from above, see what it looks like. Well worth going because it does look creepy, doesn't it?